All aboard the late train. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta love the internet, man. I I just don't get it, man. People do they really not know how ridiculous they look? Do they read what they post? Somebody gonna send me and actually tag me and actually tell me, yo, Sino, take off, man. I think he did. I think he the, the, the dopest one in the Migos. <laughs> he the best rapper. <laughs> See, all they had to do was let him rap first. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! The internet, the internet, the internet! My God, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you people? Jeez! Oh my goodness! What is wrong with you guys? Do you hear yourselves? Now I'm not tripping because you brought it to my attention. I'm glad you brought it to my attention. That is not the problem we have here. The problem is you guys are all on the late train. It doesn't matter when takeoff wraps. Not at all. It does not matter if he goes first, second, third, fourth, fifth, I have told you guys from the jump, from the giddy up, I told you one thing, one thing for certain. And what was that? That one thing that the Migos was super talented. You thought I was crazy, you jumped up and down. Do fit, and I told you. I said, All Set is the superstar of the group. Okay? Takeoff is the best rapper. And Quavo is the best organizer of the records. He can organize the style, the beat, the production. That's Quavo. Together, they are the best. When you put them together, they're the best. But you can take Takeoff and put him on every song with any other rapper, and he will blow them out the water. I told people, I said, go listen to take off on that Gucci song, the song with Gucci and take off on it. And he blows Gucci out the water. I mean, seriously, blew Gucci out the door. So. You know, it's no surprise here. Now everybody's like, oh, he dissed. He dissed 6 9 Did you hear that? He dissed your boy, man. I'm like, that's all you caught in that song? <laughs> I'm like, he laced that track. It's his delivery. It's his flow. He got the whole nine. He got the whole package. The dude's incredible, man. It's incredible. But y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't get it. 
And hey, it is what it is, you know. But, as I always say, the cream always rises to the top. There have been so many imitations of takeoff. But the Racks Too Skinny song proves once again that they are the Migos. They're the best when they're together. And they just proved it yet again. Yet again. Now somebody was like, yeah, but he just ain't got that that superstar vibe, like Offset or Quavo. You know, I'm just glad people are giving him his props now, people who are, like, non-Migo fans. But the non-Migo, I mean, the, the people who are Migo fans, like, bigger than me, you know, because I just give them credit for what they do. I understand, like, they're very talented. They're not like the imitations of them. See, people have a, a tendency to hate the originals because they've heard so many carbon copies that they just start flipping out on Amigos. They didn't come in copying anybody. They came in, found their own style, and went with it, and they flow well together. It's very rare that you find a group with three different individuals where they style just fit in so perfectly that when they separate it, it's like something's missing. But I'm telling you, Takeoff is the only one that if he goes on anyone else's track, it's fire. But, oh, yeah, if he was talking about 6 9 on this song, then it was just perfect. Or the line just went up perfectly with him. when He was like, you ain't even in the game, homie. You think he in the game, but he ain't. You ratting and snitching. I mean, hey, it goes perfectly with 6 9 if that's who he was talking about. But here's the thing. Your boy Academics, I guess he gonna go with whoever's standing. Because he, he liked the Migos, too. He don't know a damn thing about their music, but he like them too. I just respect talent. People love to tell me, you dissed Amigos. I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I've been consistent as usual. No, Quavo thought he was ready to be an independent star because everybody's putting out their solo projects and his was just so far off that it was missing the Migos. He's he's someone that shouldn't uh, should not have a solo career at all. You know, so I'm not you know. Who knows what's going to happen with 6 9 or when we'll see him again. You know. So it is what it is with him. And no one's checking for him any damn way. But people be like, he going to respond to that. Be like, whatever. <sighs> no one respects him as a real rapper anyway. No one takes him seriously. Now, I got to listen to, like, you know, the rest of the album, rest of the songs. Then we can go from there. But right now, the Migos have 
taking the stage and they have everybody's attention. So they're not going to get as many hits as the Rainbow Kid, but you know, Punky Beaster probably still somewhere talking about his hits. He's probably in a police cell right now talking about his damn hits he got the other day. While he's waiting for relocation. So. Anyway. I'm going to get out of here, yo. And get out y'all here. Thank you guys who've been supporting the page and hitting up the cash app. Carcino is the name on the cash app. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. And definitely, if you want to subscribe to the page, you can. Hit the like button. It's free. <laughs> Cost you nothing. Um, the rest of you, God bless you. Hope your families are safe out there. It's crazy out here. Y'all have a blessed night.